now that the team behind the revival of Dragon's Dogma Online has made considerable progress, the game and the server has become easier than ever to install and just boot up and play, I have decided to go over all of the available classes in the game and showcase some of the strengths and abilities, starting with the High Scepter, which is an awesome DPS class that combines and dual wields magic and sword. The High Scepter requires some practice to be able to use its abilities properly, but it is absolutely worth it once you get the hanger. Starting with its more defensive abilities, we have the Quadruple Slash and Wall Barrier. Quadruple Slash is an evasive maneuver that attacks and evades at the same time. This move takes some time to get used to since its controls are counterintuitive due to the fact that you have to press the opposite of the direction which you want to move and Q which is the key for the move. It is however very useful once you get the hang. Next we have the wall barrier which is exactly just that, a barrier. It can block the blows of various enemies and even stop an eliminator in its tracks. Once you have created some distance between yourself and the enemy, you can use the Ruling Blade to bring some hurt to whatever you are fighting. And if you find yourself facing multiple enemies and you want to create some distance quickly, you can use the Back Leap and follow up with a Dim Slice which will cut everything in its path and take down several enemies at the same time. The last ability which I want to showcase is the Eclipse Bright which unleashes a massive glowing sphere of cutting blades that will absolutely demolish the health of any minor enemies and take big chunks out of tougher opponents like Orcs or the Baphomet Demon. There are obviously some skills that I didn't cover since this is just a showcase and I want this video to inspire people to try out the class for themselves because the High Scepter is an awesome class that is seriously fun to play and Didion is a fantastic game that isn't hard to install. If you have any questions about the game, I recommend going to the Worm Hunt Discord server to check out the How To section which explains all that you need to know to be able to play. Until next time, Arisen.